Hello, scientist friends. I'm Mason. Welcome to my science room. Today, we're going to experiment with how seeds are scattered. For these experiments, you'll need two different types of seeds, five of each kind. I'm using marigold and sunflower seeds for my experiments. Tape, pencil, and a paper to record results. We're going to test and see if the seeds use wind, animals, or water to travel from place to place. Before I start, I'm going to record my hypothesis, what I think is going to happen with the seeds. First, I'll take my marigold seed here. And then my sunflower seed here. Let's see. I think that the marigold seeds will be able to travel by wind and water, but not on an animal. And the sunflower seeds will be too heavy to be scattered by wind, but able to travel by an animal. I think that because the seed is so big, it's going to sink in the water. Well, let's find out. Experiment one, wind. For this, you will need one of each seed, zone paper, tape, and your results paper. First, put both seeds in the start zone. Now blow on the seeds, <sighs> but not too hard. Blow gently and see if the seeds move. We've got some traveling seeds. To record the results, tape the seeds to where they landed on the paper. The seeds that were moved were scattered by wind. That marigold seed went farther than I thought it would. Experiment number two. Let's see if the seeds use animal fur to get around. How will we do that, you ask? Well, for this you will need one of each seed, a stuffed animal, I'm using my sister's stuffed fox, Fluff, tape, and your results paper. Place each seed on the animal, then gently shake him. Do your seeds fall off or stay on? If they stay on, they can travel by animal fur. Wow, that's not what I expected to happen. Time to record your results. Tape your seeds in the correct boxes, scattered by animal fur or not scattered by animal fur. Last experiment, water. For this you will need one of each seed, a bowl filled with water, tape, and paper to record your results. You might want some paper towels too. Place each seed in the water. Amazing, look at what those seeds are doing in the water. Does your seed sink to the bottom or float on top? A seed that floats can travel on water. You know what's next. Record your results. Tape the seeds in the right box on your result paper. You might want to dry off your seeds first. Now that we've done all three experiments, we're going to classify our results and compare them with our hypothesis. I'll tape my marigold seed here and my sunflower seed here and mark the results over here. Now, let's compare the results with my hypothesis. Wow, I guess there were some things I didn't know about seeds. I love doing experiments and learning new things. Science comes alive when we see it and do it. 